hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p divided by p plus p is equals to two terms of p and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so please watch this this video at the end Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here in the first method, you see here, these are the two variable terms. When we add two variable terms, it means that we just add the coefficients of these terms. So we have the coefficients of both of these terms are one and we get here one plus one uh in becomes 2 and this is this will be written as 2 times of p is equals to 2p and in order to find all the roots of this equation we need to move this 2p to the right hand side and you see here it is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 2p and it will becomes here 2p multiplied by 2p so we have uh, this is p is equals to 2 times 2 becomes 4 and p times p becomes p square further in the next step we move this p to the right hand side and it will be written as 4 p square minus p is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to take common p from both of these terms and when we will take common p it will be written as 4 p minus 1 is equals to zero and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p is equals to zero and the second case is we write 4p minus 1 is equals to zero and from here this is the uh, first root of the given equation and from here we get the second root for this we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become here plus 1 and you see that this 4 is multiplied by here uh, so that in order to remove this we need to divide both of the sides by 4 so when we divide by 4 it will be written as this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we will get here p is equals to this is 1 divided by 4 this is the second value of p and uh, now here in the next step we uh, just need to verify both of these roots and we will check that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous roots so that for verification of the roots we need to uh, copy down given question statement here it is p divided by p plus p is equals to two times of p and here first we will be verified p is equals to zero so when we put p is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation it will be written as 0 divided by 0 plus 0 equals to 2 times of 0 and we have this is 0 divided by 0 equals 2 times 0 becomes here 0 and 0 divided by 0 uh, just means that it is the indeterminate form okay so if this is the indeterminate form uh, so uh, it means that in other words we just say that it is undefined so if this is uh, undefined uh, so we just conclude about p is equals to 0 uh, is that p is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay because it does not satisfy our given question statement so that we call this is the extraneous root and now here in the next steps we need to verify uh, the second root and the second value of p is uh, 1 divided by 4 so in order to verify this we need to copy down given question statement here it is p divided by p plus p equals to 2 times of p and here uh, we substitute p equals to 1 over 4 on both of the sides of the above equation so when you put it here it will becomes 1 divided by 4 and here we have this is also 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 is equals to 2 times of 1 divided by 4 and uh, you see here this is 1 divided by 4 and when you will take common uh, 1 divided by 4 from here we get 1 plus 1 is equals to this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get 
1 divided by 2 now you see here uh, 1 divided by 4 is cancelled out by this 1 divided by 4 and we will get here 1 divided by this is 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and from here we get 1 divided by 2 okay so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of p is equals to 1 over 4 is satisfied over given question statement so this means that the solution set of the given question is uh, 1 divided by 4 so this is the solution set which we got here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is p divided by p plus p equals to two times of p this is our given question statement and here in the second method i can just give you a smart method in which you can easily get the values of p uh, so that uh, here we just first add these two p's and you get here two times of p is equals to two times of p and you see here this p is cancel out by this p and we will get here one divided by two is equals to two times of p so in order to find the values of t we need to divide both of the sides by two because here we have p we need to remove this p or eliminate this p from right hand side so for this we divide both of the sides by two so when you divide by two it is multiplied by here and it is divided by here uh, so you get here this is one divided by two times of two becomes four is equals to this two is cancelled out by this two and we get here p only okay so this is the value of p which we get here in second method and you see here we already get this value of p into the first method also we will verify this value in first method and you see that uh, this value of p is satisfied our given question statement so that uh, the solution set is uh, 1 divided by 4 okay this is the final answer or final conclusion of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos